Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about a Walmart scam for Magic Cards, and this is a very common scam. I went online and I did some more homework about it. Essentially, it's when someone buys a blister pack from Walmart. So Magic Packs now come in cardboard, and they open the cardboard, they reseal it, they take out the booster pack, and then they cut it. So they cut a slit like right here, and then take the, the rare out and then put in art. Maybe they don't, don't even put any cards in. And they just cut it like, so this is not a good example, but they cut it like right here and then they put it right back into the blister pack. So when, if you get home and you purchased all these blister packs, you open them, there's nothing in them and you're like, what? Um, it's because people have done this at Walmart. And now this is a very common technique in Yu-Gi-Oh! as well as so that's a very common technique in Yu-Gi-Oh! A very common technique in baseball cards are because baseball cards, you can feel like the cards are different. You can feel like a card is heavier or uh, a patch, for instance, like is an actual piece of clothing. So the card has to be a different type of card than a regular card. And so you have people on Target or Walmart and they, they sit on the ground and they just go like this all the time. Like, and actually it does work, right? Um, otherwise they wouldn't be doing it. And then you have people who bring scales to Walmart or even to a local game store. And the reason that they bring scales isn't really magic related, but it's kind of relevant. Um, a, if this card has a foil and this card does not have a foil, this card, this pack, sorry, this pack is a foil. This pack does not have a foil. This pack will should weigh more than the non-foil pack. And that's especially important. It's less important than magic because your foil could just be a forest, right? But in Pokemon, when your foil is that mega evolution that you want, um, the most valuable cards in Pokemon, in Card Fight Vanguard, Weiss, Force of Will, I, I don't know about Force of Will, I only assume that their hollow foils are kind of like Weiss or Card Fight Vanguard, they can be weighed. Uh, meaning you bring a scale and then you can see which one's heavier and the heavier one has the more valuable cards in it. Less of a problem for Magic, but still something I, figured I would touch upon. But this type of uh, scenario where people are going to Walmart, they're cutting packs like this, they're taking out the rare, maybe they don't put any cards back in, maybe they do put cards back in, and then they seal it back, Walmart puts it back to the store, and you go and buy it, it is actually very common in the Walmart I go to. So the Walmart I go to is the humble Walmart, and I've had friends, so I don't shop at Walmart. Um, I try not to, I had to buy a ladder today, so that's because like I got too lazy and Home Depot wasn't open and I really needed that ladder. Uh, but I don't. I try my best not to shop at Walmart, mainly because I like to shop at local stores and things of that nature, and that's important to me personally. But uh, if you're gonna shop at Walmart for Magic Cards, be aware that this is a problem, and there are MTG Salvation posts, there are Reddit posts, there, um, especially in Yu-Gi-Oh! In the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, this is a known problem of you know people taking you know, packs and cutting them and putting them back in and the Walmart employee doesn't really know what's going on. So be careful. And there's many, many reasons you shouldn't buy packs at Walmart, but this are Target. This should be one of the main ones. Uh, just the people who do this. I mean, I go to a Target in Humble again and I will see a person on the floor uh, for baseball cards and just be like, spend like all day just I've even seen a person bring a scale in for the Pokemon cards and that is very scary to me that a little kid who's, I'll take the baseball example because that one I more I know more about, uh, a little kid goes to buy some packs and never pulls an autograph. He's not going to be a fan of this game anymore. If a little kid goes to Walmart, buys a few packs, um, pulls bad cards or because the cards are, you know, the rares are gone and the mythics are gone. And then, you know, tells his parents about that. Maybe the parents are not happy about it at all. And they're like, oh, these are the type of people who play this game. And I don't know, it's a very disappointing to me that people would do that. I'm not sure what type of person, maybe in the comments below, let me know like what type of person you think would do something like this. I feel like it takes away from the game. I feel like it does, it disrespects the game in many ways and it really is stealing. Um, it's not, it's not like, oh, I did this because I, because it was right. Um, I think the people who are doing this absolutely know this is wrong and they're hurting someone down, 
the end of the line. Maybe they're doing it because they're like, oh, I'm going to get back at Walmart. But the people who are really injured, uh, have you ever seen the customer line at Walmart? If I, let's assume that you're a kid and then you got some packs, you want to, you complain to your parents. Your parents are like, okay, so let's stay in this customer line for the next two hours. They're not going to be happy at you. Um, and so the people who are really hurt by that, and plus the fact that no one likes to open a pack that's already open, even if you get it back from customer. And even if Walmart does you good, because um, so, it might not do you good, it might just say, okay, it's your problem, you opened the pack, well, that's not, we, we can't prove that you didn't take it out yourself. Um, even if they give you a refund for it, it's still very distasteful. You wasted your time. You probably got emotionally, um, at least a little emotionally pissed about it. So overall, just be careful. Um, it is very difficult. So a YouTuber um, did a test and it is inc incredibly difficult to figure this out. Even with the two by two packs. So a lot of times at my Walmart, I'll see uh, double Innistrad packs for 10.98 and the plastic can be cut and then this can be cut and then this can be inserted right back in and they wouldn't even need to buy the packs. They could just do it uh, relatively quickly at the Walmart. Uh, and I, I saw the video about it and I was like, oh yeah, this if the guy can do it for Yu-Gi-Oh cards, then he can definitely do it for Magic or Pokemon or anything of this nature. So in addition to supporting your local stores, uh, Walmart packs are just not uh, in my opinion, all that great. Uh, also, the distribution, I mean, who knows what that looks like for Walmart packs. Anyway, bye guys.